I've heard it said that you are enough. And there is an aspect of this phrase that comes from a good heart. We are in this society where there's this constant pressure to be productive, to be always improving, to become our best selves. And so some of the heart behind this is to help women relax, to realize like, it's okay, you don't have to be the best at decorating, you don't have to be the best cook, you don't have to go for all the advanced degrees, you don't have to climb the corporate ladder. So there is an element of truth in that phrase, you are enough, in that God has made us with limitations, God made us to be unique, so God has made us in a specific way and we don't need to strive to be like others. But we're not enough. The thing is we are weak, we are limited, and the Christian's hope is that we find our enoughness in Jesus because when we are found in him, he is all the enough that we can't be. He's our righteousness. He is our peace. He is our joy. And he is the one who fills us and enables us to find true contentment because it's not just about ending the striving. It's about finding rest and peace in him, the God who is more than enough. Um, and so I would say of this phrase, I'd maybe give it a four out of 10 because I think it has some truth to it. But apart from Christ, it's really lacking and an, um, an empty promise that ultimately doesn't give us any comfort.